Hello. Hi. Um, do let me know if the fan in the background is really, really noticeable. Um, I know it's kind of, it's like cooling down in here, but there was like no air movement in my apartment all day. So it's kind of stagnant. Uh, got the windows open and the fan on. But if that is a bit too much, I can turn that off. Just let me know. Anyway, hi, hello, how the heck are you? Sounds fine to you? Awesome! Very excited to hear that. I had a busy freaking day today. Um, so I had... I didn't notice it until he mentioned it. Damn it, I shouldn't have said anything. Um, so I had a work meeting after work that lasted uh, a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. Then I had to go back up to my parents so they could vote because it's the New Jersey primaries today and I never miss an election. Uh, and then it took me an hour and ten minutes to get back down to my apartment, which should have only taken me about 45. And then, but I came home and Michael had made dinner, which is awesome. We had fajitas. I have not yet taken a shower. I need to do that still. That is something I need to do before I go to sleep tonight. But I am ready for more of this game. Holy potatoes. Okay, so if you guys haven't been around for Rakuen, um, this is probably... Oh, okay, so long story short, uh, this is Emotions the Video Game. You play as a young boy who is in the hospital, and his mom comes to visit him, and he has this very, very special book, and it's the story of Rakuen. And his mom says that, you know, now that he's old enough, he can have the key. No, 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 Shannon, like, this one is, like, even more, it's off the charts. Um, so you meet some of the other patients in the hospital, and then your mom gives you the key to the book. So that you can enter the world of Rakuin and experience it for yourself firsthand. Um, and by going into the book, you end up playing through a lot of the stories that are analogous to the patients in the hospital. So you learn their past and what's going on with them. And we've completed two stories so far. Um, the first story we did was the young man whose wife was in a coma. And it turns out that their story was an analog for a Korean and Japanese couple whose parents refused to allow them to be together. And they met up and the, I guess something, it was the, the hurricane or the typhoon in, in Japan uh, back in 2011. And the young woman fell into a coma. And that's the analog with that. Uh, and then the other one, we played through the story of the older man. And as it turned out, in, in the game, he was a very angry bear. Uh, but in real life, uh, he was a workaholic pilot whom, after his youngest son passed away, um, dedicated himself to his work and his daughter was afraid that he blamed her for it. I would say stick around, feel it out. Uh, if it gets too much, I completely get it. But right now, we're at a spot that is not like super emotions. And the super emotions only kick in at certain points. So I think it's navigable. Though I did go through about five tissues on Saturday night. Um, but right now, we are playing through um, the story of... There's a, one, there's a gentleman who is in the hospital and... They can't really figure out what's going on. Uh, they think it's like early onset dementia, but it's more so not really. And right now we're playing through his story because his wife runs a tea shop and we have to deliver tea to the Sky Buds. And I think you're going to like the Sky Buds. They're very fun. So I'm going to corner mode it up. I actually, I need to edit something. Um, give me two seconds because... I need to change. Where is my. I'm gonna turn that back on. 
I'm going to change the properties and I'm going to change it to the infinity symbol because I'm just going to cry a whole dang lot. So let us go back to Rakuen. Yay! And let me know if the volume is too much because uh, I know on my end it's like kind of screaming loud. But that's okay. All right. So right now, uh, somebody is hijacking uh, an avant-garde style painting of the monsieur. Somebody has possibly broken into um, this area. Door is locked. Oh, this one's open. Oh, a chest! You found 25 gold. Sweet! Unless you're watching two people dance inside of a lighthouse. Stack of books on varying subjects! Ooh, okay. Wig whimsy. Dignified bud. Five easy steps that will take you from uncouth dud to gentle bud. Pink men don't bloom. A guide to being the perfect gentle bud. Okay, that didn't help. Oh, what if there's anything in the cabinet? Yes. Sacks and sacks of powdered white wigs. Okay. So that works. Also, the music in this is fantastic. So apparently the person who... And we found this out last week. You found an NHB... <gasps> ah! No Holds Barred concert poster! Hell yes! Um, Tika did fan art of No Holds Barred, and it's my favorite thing in the world. Um, but we found out last week, or on, on Saturday, that the woman who made this game did a lot of the singing parts for Plants vs. Zombies, which is pretty neat, if you ask me. Okay, so I got my No Holds Barred poster. Let's see what's out here. Here's a new piece of art. A lovely springtime painting capturing the part of the monsieur's mustache. Woo! Mom, what was that? I don't know, dear, but it sounds like it was coming from up ahead. Should we keep going? We gotta press on if we want to find out who this thief really is. Biggest refrigerator I've ever seen! Ah! What's in there? I don't know, dear, but you'd better stay close to me. Ay! Goodness gracious! Monsieur, have you been sleep eating again? I. So it was the Monsieur all along. Mystery solved! I knew you guys could do it! Well, I suppose that's a huge weight off my shoulders. Ah, you're here. We're all delighted you could make it, especially the Monsieur. Oi, thank you. In exchange for helping us solve our little problem. <laughs> Maxwell! Sorry, Dad. We would love to repay you somehow. As you know, we've all sorts of specialty items from around the world. So just say the word and it's yours. Well, there's one thing we'd really like. Oh? Would the Monsieur try a sample of our tea? It's actually our friend Kazuko's tea. But it is the best tea in all the forest. Hmm. The best tea, you say? While I find that incredibly difficult to believe, I will permit this request. Pending one thing. I would need to sample the tea first. You know, for safety reasons. Oh, but of course. We have plenty to share. 
Well, in that case, I should be able to permit your request. Where is this tea of which you speak? Right here, sir. You poured Rupert a cup from the gourd of midnight tea. That flavor, it's so... So good! Oh, he lost his wig. That's amazing. Don't worry. This happens a lot. We'll come back once he composes himself and grabs another wig. He has more powdered wigs than Bud Toven. <clears throat> Where was I? Ah, yes. So this tea is very high quality indeed. You have my permission to share it with Monsieur Bud. Oi! No tea for me? Yes, Monsieur. A very delightful blend from... Where is this tea from again? It's from Kazuko at the Midnight Tea Shop. It's from the Midnight Tea Shop, sir. I love it! We must get more! Amazing! The Monsieur likes it. Needless to say, we are all very impressed. Rest assured, we'll be buying lots of tea from the Midnight Tea Shop. Yay! Thank you so much! Thank you! You and your mother are both welcome here anytime. Thank you, Rupert. I'm really gonna miss you guys. You're like, well, you're like the cousins I never had. The cousins you never? The cousins that are my cousins! My real cousins! So don't be strangers, okay? Come visit any time. You can stay in my room. Oh, and here's a little present. Something to remind you of the Skylands. We received Celestial Marble! Oh goody, we got a marble. Farewell, strange creatures from across the sea. See you later, sugar baby. I want to go look at more paintings. Because apparently I get a, uh, um, what's it called? I get it. Hey! How's it going? I apparently get a, um, oh, what is that thing called when I have, um, an achievement! I get an achievement for looking at all of the unique paintings. You're kind of amazed that this still hasn't been taken down. So, we did not get into anime next. Um, I knew it was kind of a long shot, but unfortunately we did not get in. So, this is an interesting little game. Um, I'm very much enjoying it. But it is super emotions. Yeah, I'm like super bummed. This is the first time we haven't gotten into anime- or re rephrase. This will be the first time that I have not gone to anime next since 2013. Ooh, I don't think I've looked at this one yet. Oh, and I can't, because... Okay. I need to leave a vu. Aw. No, unfortunately, it just didn't work out financially for us this year, either. We usually only end up at cons if we can, like, vend there, because it saves us a lot of money. But, yeah, unfortunately, no. I'm thinking about maybe going to New Jersey Gamer Fest or New Jersey Gamer Con. But I'm not sure. We'll figure that one out. That's, that's not until next month. Oh. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's at the end of July in, like, South Jersey, like Cherry Hill area. But it's got a really good guest list so far. I mean, I don't think we'll be vending because I'm sure those spots are all filled up by now. But um, at least attending will be going. Or I'll be going, probably. Uh, also, I would like you guys to see these cute little sheepies. They're so cute. I love the little sheepy friends. Anime Week in Atlanta. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, I just... I mean, I think for you guys, Awa is pretty decent, like, close. Do you live alone up here? Technically, yes. However, my friend is off for so often, it feels like, oh, that's right, the onion guy. 
30 max. Yeah, that's not bad at all. This game is adorable. Ah! Are you okay? My unholy dream boss just hit level 52! Wait, wait, who are you? What are you doing the sacred kill Talash Catacombs of Adun? Um, what? He's an outsider! In his dreams! No, wait. Do you even know who he is? You're talking to a high-level warrior from the plains of Sendai. He has an enchanted blade that was given to him by the great dragon Lakthor. Show us some respect. Our, our apologies. Please forgive us. Yay, I found some more money. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, I mean, anime next, I think, is like an hour and a half from where I am. So unless we got a room down there, it wouldn't even really be a like a reasonable drive. You rolled a one. You did that on purpose. I told you to put more points into luck. <laughs> They're playing D and D. That's adorable. More sheepies. Yay. Oh wait, where's the plant that I climbed down? Shit. Oh, it's there. Like, literally right where I was. Climb the beanstalk? Yes. Okay, so what did I- what was I doing up in the clouds anyway? Oh, right! I need to go to the other area. Fudge. How did I get there? I think I can get there through the inn. So this game is called Rakuen. Uh, and it is a very sweet game. Uh, it's kind of like... Um, I'm trying to think what the best way to describe it is. It's, it's like an RPG, but there's no combat. Save my game. Yes. But it's just, it's like, I'm having so much fun playing through it. I played it for like almost five hours on Saturday on stream. Kind of. It's like a, um, that's a good way of putting it kind of. Yeah, kind of like one, ooh, I need to play one shot still. That's on my list. I'm waiting for it to go on Steam sale and I'm going to pick it up. Okay, now I need to go... Oh no, not to the bathroom. I am looking forward to that one too. How did I get to... Oh, that's right. I think I came through... I need to remember how I got to... I think it was over here? Maybe not. No, this is just the playroom. Whoa! Oh, that's the samurai helmet I bought. Wait, what's that? Is this a pillow? I know that's a frog. Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> but one thing, the one thing, or but one of the things I really like about this game is the soundtrack is just so very, very sweet. Oh, that's right. I have to get in through. Um, That's right. Not there. Door is locked. Exist here was currently under construction. And he's Yuki Saburo. Oh. That's right. It's through here. Now that should put me back. Yes. Okay. Here. This is exactly where I wanted to go. so much for your help. You shared your tea. How'd it go? It went great. They all loved... <laughs> hey, Lisette! Welcome, and to what do I owe the pleasure of a visit from Rupert? Milady, the monsieur sends his highest regards. He loved the sample of tea you saved him. We all did. That's wonderful to hear. 
No, not yet. Um, we basically, we found that uh, if you were here at the end of the game on Saturday, um, the mystery thief was actually just Monsieur Bud sleepwalking. Um, so we got him the tea and we're just getting back to Kazuko. If it's alright with you, the Monsieur would like to place a rather large order. Of course it's alright with me. I will begin preparations immediately. You are always welcome to join us for afternoon tea in the Skylands. As soon as I have free time, I would love to join all of you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much for your help. I'm more confident now that folks around the forest will know of the Midnight Tea Shop. Our neighbor Stormy can be found in the cave right outside our shop. Occasionally the entrance of the cave is blocked by fallen rocks, so you might need to find a pickaxe to clear them. Please ask for some dragon ashes to help the Sikari Bana bloom. That's right. But I need a pickaxe now. Okay, so item... What do I have in my items? I have the axe. I have the... Oh, the wings. Oh, sad times. Oh, there's a treasure chest down there, but I can't get to it yet. Oh my god, cheesy. Yes, um, as you can- Oh no! Hang on, I need to move it forward. Um, because I do have, as you guys are all aware, um, we have the Elise Cries counter going, and it is, um, very high at the moment. I've been very emotional playing this game. Okay. Alright, sketchy label, fine. Can't feel bad for that poor dog spirit that's sitting up the tree up there. I think her name is Poochie. I'm not sure what she wants or why she refuses to move, but I don't dare anger her. Carry this in before you can catch it. Where do I find one of those, Mom? Maybe if I go talk to Kazuko. Yes, she did. What brings you the hot springs? What's up? Uh, that's right. I was genuinely um, impressed. Oh yeah, no, he's just the cutest. I love, I love our, our main character. Okay, I can't go any further from here, so I need to go back and make the pickaxe. But how do I make the pickaxe? Oh, she did the to the moon. Okay, so, uh, so the woman with our main character is his mom. Yes. How did I do that? I didn't know I could do that. What did I just pick up? Reeds. Oh, okay. I can get reeds. Yeah. Okay, I gotta turn down my volume because I can't really hear anything right now. I think she actually did do most of it, if not all of it. Um, which is just genuinely impressive to me. How? I can't go that way yet. Okay, I think I am stuck. Oh no. Oh, it's these motherfuckers! Okay, I can't do anything with these guys around. Rude. Alright, so I think I just need to go back to the main part of town? I wish there was some kind of fast travel in that sense. 
Ah, sorry, I got something in my eye all of a sudden. Yeah! Oh, hey, kid. Since you're the only one who listens to me these days, everyone else thinks I've completely lost it. You need something? Um, why'd you go outside? Doctors think it's too dangerous to be outside, but I have to be. I'm running out of time. I have to find it. I have to finish it. I have to send a message. Okay, see you later. Oh, but I did get a marble that I can give to Sue. So I'm gonna do that. I brought you something. Yes. Story time! It's the Starly and Pillow Fort planet! I can't believe you found it! It's so beautiful here. There are so many stars on this planet, twinkling in the sky and all around you, just like rock candy. It does get really cold, though. But you can build forts out of blankets and couch cushions and pillows! Oh, yay! Okay, if I'm still alive, I hope you get to come back! See you soon, Christy! But you can build forts of pillows. Okay, couches and pillows. Last time I was there, I built a castle out of pillows and a special quilt that had magical patches. It was warm and safe inside. Wow, a whole castle! My mom taught me how to build forts in my room so I could hide there in case of danger. Because here on this planet, no one can hurt you. You're totally safe here. It's like having a sleepover with your friends, but all the time. Thanks again for bringing this back to me. Oh, I love Sue. So we find marbles and we give them to Sue. And Sue tells us stories about the marbles. Oh, maybe I can ask Mom for help. I need a hint. Can't wait to meet a real-life water dragon. We should head back to the cave near the tea so we can... Oh, that's right. Pickaxe in order to get in the cave. I remember a sign of Jackie saying, Three looming rocks, three nice and three camp five camp or six. Six camp for six, three night stones. Oh, I think I have enough for the pickaxe! Sweet! Good! Sue is precious. I love her. Oh, no, wrong table. Oh! I like your hat. I folded it myself. My mom taught me. Wow, you did a very good job. I used to know how to fold some things out of paper. I'm not sure I'd remember anymore, though. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, that's just, I can use this to go back. Okay, good. Oh, perfect! It takes us to Jackie's! Welcome back, guys! What can I do for you? Pickaxe! One moment, please! Yes! Pickaxe time! Here's your new pickaxe! Yes! I used to do origami when I was a kid, too. Yes, I can axe things now! Let me ask you a question. Har har har. Oh man, when I was a kid I used to have these like... Play sets? I don't wanna know... I don't wanna know what to call them. They're like... Activity packs, I guess. An onion air freshener. Oh, I know what I'm gonna have to do with that. Um. And one of them was all about origami, and I got super, super into it for like a couple of years. I would say from like sixth grade through to. Um, I guess probably like. Eighth grade, maybe? Oh, that's awesome. Climbs a beanstalk. I bet I hey, I think that's awesome. Give me berries. Yeah, it, it's one of those things that, like, if I think about it, I can remember what to do. But right now, my hands only remember I can do the hat like that. And I can do, I can do, like, paper cups. I just need, like, 
a reminder of how to do everything else. Whose house is this? Giants in my hut has news of my artistic creations actually spread beyond the great sea? Tell you what, I'm good at folding paper. It's one of those things that I think, like, if I tried now, I would want to learn some of the harder ones. Like, I remember getting very, very stuck at, like, cranes. For some reason, those I found very difficult. Ah! I am flying all over the place. I mean, it's like summer break for a lot of people now. I feel like now is the time to, to pick that kind of stuff back up. Now I'm trying to see where else I can pickaxe. Right here. Yes, excellent. Good, very good. What cave is this? Are you the dragon? Oh, it is the dragon! What brings you to my domain? Whoa! What are you staring at, child? I'm sorry, it's just... I've never seen a real dragon before. Well, that's because we're not very common around these parts. You're so cool! Yes. Tell me, child, what is it you need? What do you do here? I'm a water dragon, so it is my job to regulate the waterways and, crowd and clouds. I try to keep everything in balance and make sure the forest gets the water it needs. Do you have dragon ash? I can make dragon ash, if that's what you mean. I am a dragon, after all. How do you make it? Is it hard to do? You're just full of questions, aren't you, child? Sorry. It's quite all right. Dragon ash is the byproduct of dragon fire. Of course, we have all different kinds of fire. Mine is really more like ice. It's not difficult to do, however, creating fire requires a lot of concentration. And your natural element, mine being water, of course, must be in balance. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, if you haven't noticed, things around here have not been in balance lately. Besides the increase in negative energy coming from the envoy, I can sense that something's blocking the flow of water. If something isn't done, the whole forest could go into a massive drought. That's terrible. I know. Hmm. Maybe we could help clear away whatever's blocking the water. If we did that for you, would you make us some dragon ash? Ha! You really want that dragon ash, don't you? It's for our friend Kazuko. She said it would help her flower bloom. Oh, is that right? Kazuko certainly does know a thing or two about gardening. She's trying to go Hikaribana, isn't she? Yes! How'd you know? Oh, a dragon knows many things. Oh. Okay, then, if you clear the waterways, I'll make you some dragon ash for Kazuko. Thank you! Take this. If there are water, if there are boulders blocking the flow of water, you should be able to strike it with this. You receive some scale flint. But be careful. Scale flint is known to cause large reactions. To get through the water blockage, you might try going through that door up there. Good luck! Hmm. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can... Take care of this scale flint. And I hope we don't drown. Oh, no, not again. Use the scale flint? Yes. Okay. Here goes nothing. Run! That was a close one. Great job! Oh, we did it! Yay! Yay! What is it you need? We did it! My source is telling me that you got the job done. We did! There were boulders blocking the water, but we cleared them out. 
Impressive. Well, now that things are in order, I think I should uphold my end of the bargain. One moment, please. Whoa, that was gorgeous. Well then, here you go. You received dragon ash. See to it that Kazuko grows that flower to its fullest potential. It means a lot to her, you know. Tell me, child. Do you know why Kazuko is growing Hikaribana? I'm not sure. Here in the forest, the Hikaribana is a symbol of great love. They say it has the power to bring loved ones together. To heal, to bond help find someone who has been lost. Oh. Perhaps Kazuko is trying to remind her husband of their love, for she feels he has forgotten her. He hasn't forgotten her. He mentions her all the time. Yes, but she does not know that. They have not spoken in ages. They haven't? Kisaburo's sickness has weakened his mind. He's disoriented. He can't tell day from night. His speech is nonsensical. It's amazing that he's able to communicate with you, child. I see. That's why it's a noble thing you are doing, helping someone who can outreach out themselves. Good luck, and may you find your own path to happiness as well. Thank you, Stormy. Oh. Let's get her. The Dragon Ash. You got the dragon ash! You got the dragon ash! Thank you so much. Well then, I think it's time for me to visit Kisaburo at the hot springs. Now that the Harbana has some dragon ash to help it bloom, perhaps I can finally bring it to him as a gift. Oh, he's gonna love that! Actually, on second thought, why don't we all go together? Um, I have done Winston's story, and I have done, um... The, the old guy. The angry old guy. Whose name I can't remember. This is the third one we're on. I'm sure that my husband wants to personally thank you both for helping us out with the shop. That sounds great. Alright then, let's go. <gasps> where Where is he? Oh goodness. Where, where did he go? Kisaburo! Kisaburo, where are you? I'm so sorry, you two. I was hoping we could all spend some time together with Kisaburo, but... I'm honestly not sure where he went. Oh, no, no, no worries. I, I do appreciate that. I'm going to look for him, so please feel free to do whatever you'd like. Thanks again for all your help. Oh. A door. Mom, look. You found another door. Where do you think it leads? Hmm. Only one way to find out. Where does it go? I don't know where this one could go. Where, where am I? Oh! I'm... I'm Kazuko! Good morning, Kazuko. If you're looking for your husband, I believe he's back in this room. Oh, hey, Kazuko! Thanks for drawing with me last time. Hey, Des! That was so much fun. Hi, Kazuko. It's good to see you again. Those homemade cream puffs you brought last time were out of this world. Who are you? Kazuko! The tips you gave me really worked. My little lemon tree is healthier than ever. Oh, were you looking for Kisabra? I think they brought him back to his room about an hour ago. Kisaburo, can you tell me what year it is? I don't have time for this. I have to fix this order before my supervisor gets back. Kisaburo, I want you to try to focus on my voice. Can you tell me where you are right now? 
What kind of question is that? I have to fix the power lines. I think we're gonna have to run some more tests. I'll set something up with the lab this afternoon. Sounds good. Are you just gonna keep taking my tools away from me? dear. I brought some of your favorite snacks. I thought it might help to. Who are you? I'm not sure people aren't supposed to be here. It's dangerous. Oh, Kisabro. It's me. It's your Kazuko. Did the supervisor send you? Are you here to cover the night shift? Oh. Kisabro. Do you remember this flower? We really don't have much time. If I don't get the power back up, the boss isn't going to be happy. You don't remember, do you? Sabro, you've certainly been visiting a lot these days. Who, me? I, I, uh... Oh, no. Oh, guys. Get him at the ready. It's time. I know. I know it's time. I just really like the bread. <laughs> sure, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Miss Kazuko, these desserts are lovely. Thank you. Please let me know if you need anything else. I know. I mean, same, Cheesy. Same. <laughs> Stop it, Nobu. She'll hear you. Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, Go talk to her. I'm going. I'm going. I am... Oh, hello, Kisaburo. Kazuko, oh, oh wow, I, I didn't know you were working today. Ah! Well, um... We have some new red bean manju if you'd like to try them. Oh, I'd love to. Kisaburo? Oh, sorry, I, I just... I just... I brought you a gift. A gift? That is so nice of you. Okay, close your eyes. Oh! Oh! Right! Already! <laughs> Alright, you can open them. How lovely! Beautiful flower for a beautiful lady. Oh, you're such a smooth talker. I'm not being smooth. So smooth. I really mean it. I would bring you flowers until we were old and gray. Couldn't remember. <laughs> What's my uptime? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Until we couldn't remember things anymore. 51 minutes and I'm already crying. It's not even an hour. Is that so? I'm certain of it. Give him a break, Kazuko. The poor guy was pacing outside for 20 minutes before he came in here. No, boo! Oh, you poor thing. You must be so thirsty. I'll bring you some tea to go with that dessert. Well, I definitely can't say no to that. Aww. <laughs> uh. He's over. Dinner's ready. I just put the baby down for her nap so we can have a bit of quiet time. 
Kazuko! You only get one day off, but you still work so hard on the garden. What are you planting out here? Is it those radishes you got from the... I... I, uh... Did you plant all these? Well, I... Yep. Those flowers... Do you like them? That's the flower you gave me when I worked at the bakery! Okisaburo, of course I like them! I can't believe you remem oh, remembered. <laughs> I'm yours, Kazuko. I always will be. <sighs> what about the flowers? The flowers are in bloom again. Mom! Are you still here? Oh, Mom, you must be exhausted. You need to go home and get some rest. The doctors will call you if anything urgent happens. I'm not leaving. Then at the very least, will you please eat something? I will. We're going to turn in some of the paperwork. Mom, it's going to be okay. I know. I just need some time with him, is all. Call us if you need anything. I will. <laughs> oh, Kisaburo, is there any of you left in there? I brought you some water to help you cool down. You've been working so hard on your garden that... Kisaburo! Kisaburo, Kisaburo, can you hear me? Kazuko, get some rest, my dear. I think the baby's crying. It might be time to change his diaper. What? The baby, don't you hear that? Honey, our babies are all grown up. Right, all grown up. Try to get some sleep. Kisaburo. Kisaburo, where are you, dear? Supper, what's going on in there? They're closing in on us. Supper, what are you doing? Hey, you, why are you still here? We've been dismissed. Can't you see we're under attack? Supper, please get off the table. You're gonna hurt yourself. What's going on in here? The supervisor gave us all orders to leave. We have to go now. Dad, what are you doing? Go get help. I'll try to stop him from breaking anything else. Mom, it's not safe for you. I'll be fine. Just go. Ma'am, I know you want to care for your husband, but... At this point, he's a danger to you. I am not afraid of my husband. Mom, you can't do this by yourself. Rico's right. Dad needs constant supervision. It's just too much for you, Mom. And he could still talk with me. He told me that if he got worse, he'd prefer to stay in his own home. I just want to honor that. Mom. I don't mind staying up all night. I can prepare all the meals in advance and make sure to- Mom! Dad doesn't even remember you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. It's just 
This is better for both of you, if Dad doesn't stay here anymore. I know, you're right. Okay, we can move him in the morning. What's up, bro? What's it like in there? Inside your head, I mean. Are you scared? Do you feel any pain? Do you still remember anything about yourself or your life before all this happened? It is. Please, tell me you remember something. Anything. door was boarded up when I got here. Kazuko? to find him. Oh. Uh, tissue number two. <laughs> Kisabro. Oh, Kisabro, I was so worried. What's everywhere for you? I. Oh my goodness. Did you plant all of these? Well, I, I am. Yep. Okay, Saburo. Do you like them? Of course I do. back and forth this is the grandpa oh wait which grandpa oh oh the grandpa um his daughter came back i'll go by when we get back to like the um the main world and i'll show you Yay. <laughs> 
water to replenish your tears? I'm okay for now. <laughs> you want a hug? Come on, everybody. Let's all hug Elise. Oh, jeez. I love you guys. <laughs> you let me cry on stream. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, so... H, when we go back, I'll show you his... So, you know, he was, like, all upset because his, he hadn't talked to his daughter in forever and the music box was broken. We get the music box fixed and his daughter comes to visit. And they, like, Repair the. Thank you for the bits. I'm sorry. I'm just like sob fest right now. Oh jeez. Saturday's stream was like buckets of tears. I wanted to thank you both again. Times have been tough, but I'm gonna try my best every day. We have a saying in the world of tea: one time, one meeting. Basically, this could be the first and last time we ever meet. The first and last chance. The first and last moment. So let's make it the best it can be. Take care, my friends. Oh, door. Oh, man. Mom, there's a door in the tea shop. I wonder if this one leads back to the hospital. Let's go check it out. Again, not, not doing this myself. This is... Oh, this is like very feelings. Oh, hey! Uma, Uma, do de do. The big pipes connected to the small pipe. The small pipes connected to the big drain. The big drain's connected to the. Oh hey guys, hi Uma. What's that thing? Oh you mean this thing? It's a water pump. They use it to drain the water back when the lower floors in the hospital got flooded after the. Well, you know. Yeah. There's a few more around here. I'm trying to find them. Why are you looking for them? I like you, kid. So I'm gonna be real with you. We both know there's something special about this place. I've been seeing you watering random plants, making the beanstalks grow, talking to bears and water people. How did you know? These worlds are connected. You know this as well as I do. These devices, they seem to drain more than just the water that used to be here in the hospital. Why don't you try it? Maybe it'll open some new paths for you on the other side. Uma? Yeah, kid? Why do you keep helping me? Even after I... Well, after I accused you of doing bad things that you didn't even do. Kid, I don't hold that against you. I would have to thought those things about me, too, if I were you. We've all been given our own challenges. Sometimes while we're working them out, our paths will collide with others who are working on challenges of their own. We help each other more than we know. It's time for me to go now. I think my time's running out. But you hang in there, okay? Okay. on the water pump to start draining water. Sure! That did something. Where does this lead? Where am I? Well, I found money. That's cool. I love money. Okay. My bucket's full of water currently. Where am I? What room is this? Yeah, water the plant for sure. Low Buds Remix CD! Yes! I love Low Buds! Oh, I found more money. I'm gonna go get the water out of the sink in my bucket. Yeah, okay, good. I don't know what room this is. Oh, the top room. Oh, that was locked before. Alright, Mom. I need a hint. I was right about those water pumps. If they really do drain more than just the water that used to be in a hospital, well, is there anyone else you still need to help? Someone, perhaps, that you couldn't reach before? <gasps> Sue! Oh, 
was my flower marble! This marble is so special to me. The last time I was here, I was found a floating island in the sky. It was covered with grass and flowers. The flowers were all different colors. Some were big, some were small. It smells so good there. Are there any blue ones? Yes, lots! There's this really fun, there's this one blue flower that looks like a really big dandelion puff. But each puff has lots of tiny blue flowers on it. There are blue roses too. Let's go there together sometime. We can climb to the top of the island and lay down in the flowers and watch the sky. Yeah, so we are, we've basically been playing through all of the other patients' stories. Um, which is very, very sweet. The island moves with the wind, so an hour will go by and suddenly we'll be over a completely new place. <gasps> okay, so that's all of the marbles. You didn't bring anything to you. Okay. Because I just got the achievement for all the marbles. Okay, so let's see. Oh my god, I didn't realize that she was drawing a label! She was drawing a label! Alright, what's the best? Okay, maybe I can- Oh, this is my room. So I know I can get back to Rakuen if I go this way. Because this is Uma's area, and then this is the main the main Rakuen area. And that brings me to the Liebel Inn, and they're so cute. I love the Liebels. Look at the Liebels! Ah! Recently, the river water levels are getting dangerously low. So the great water dragon Stormy moved here to fix things. Now we have all the water we could possibly need. Oh, oh, I'll go back to later with that one. So, okay. Oh my goodness, water can help me so grab into a little much of the sweets. Aww. They're adorable. I love the labels. Okay, so age. Um, you see the bears here? Um, these are the Rakuen equivalent of Tony and his his daughter. I'm gonna do my best each day to help protect the Liebel village. It's the least I could do after all the vegetable gardens I destroyed. <laughs> oh, little buddies. My dad is so different now. Thank you so much for fixing something that was important to both of us. I like having a grandpa. Oh. Honey! That's so cute. Is there any other stuff that was blocked off that I couldn't get to before with the pickaxe? The bears are so sweet. Oh! We can get through here now. Um, okay, so Tony became estranged from his daughters, uh, or his daughter, because, um, when they were on vacation, I guess she was watching her brother, and her brother fell, and I, we assume he fell into a river and drowned, which was terrible, really. Um, but he blamed himself for that and kind of closed off and threw himself into his work. But Christina thought that it was her fault and she blamed herself. So you go through all of this to fix the music box and Tony asks you to go ask Christina for the melody and you find it and it's like crying everywhere. Lots of crying. So much crying. So Oh, hi. What are you doing? remember where I'm supposed to meet my friend. I have to find her. She needs me. Tell me about your friend. Oh, she's the best. She was the only one who would listen to me. She was such a good listener. I could tell her all my secrets because I knew she'd never tell anyone else. And she loved me no matter what, even though I was poor and didn't have cool toys or games. Even though I didn't have any other friends. She still loved me. stuff did you do? Oh, we had so many adventures. I was warned about Sue's story. Like, I was genuinely- I'm sorry, I'm like 
switching legs back and forth right now. We had so many adventures together. We played a lot of games, too. Ones I didn't get to play before. My dad promised he would play catch with me, but he left, and we never got to do that together. But my friend loved playing catch, so we'd go to the park and play catch until the sun went down. Oh no, we can go down now. That's right. I don't have to go up. Wait, what do I have? I know she's waiting for me. I feel so bad. Sue, wait! I wish I could remember where we were supposed to meet. But I can't remember much of anything anymore. She was counting on me. Who was counting on you, Sue? My friend. She needed someone to take care of her. She didn't have anyone to take care of her. She didn't have anyone to love her. Oh my god, yeah, no. She's so sweet. I promised that we'd take care of each other, but I broke that promise. I have to find her. We'll find your friend, Sue. I promise. Thank you. Bell? That looks like a bell. She dropped this. What do you think it's for, Mom? Mm, I'm not sure. When I was a little girl, I used a ribbon with a bell on it, just like this, as a pet collar. A pet collar? Yep, the noise from the bell helped us find our cats and dogs when they were hiding. And it made it harder for them to catch birds and mice. Mom, look! It says Poochie on the side. Hmm, that name seems familiar. You received Poochie's bell. No, Poochie. Okay. Okay, so we gotta go get Poochie. I have been warned that this is the cryingest of them all, basically. But I am prepared. I got them. They're not leaving my side. My Target brand tissues. Not sponsored. I wish I was, man. If, like, Target could sponsor me, that'd be pretty freaking sweet. Okay. That's right, I can go through this way. Yeah? Michael? Okay, there's nobody at the door. That's okay. Okay, that works. Poochie! Mom, look! She's sniffing the bell we picked up back there. Are you Sue's friend? Do you want us to take you to her? I think she wants to follow us. Aw, she seems like such a good, so a sweet dog. I'll take you back to your friend, little one. Yay, Mom, let's go! We have dog! What's over here? Oh, that's Kisaburo, that's right. Hey! Hey, Stormy. Going back to Sue with their doggy. Nope, not there. This one. Copy! God, I really wish I could pet a dog today. Like, that would have made today just so much better. But, no. No dogs. Could not pet. Zero out of ten. Sue, Sue, we found your friend! We found Poochie! Sue? Mom, where'd she go? I'm not sure, dear.
Kitties make me super allergic, so I can't, I can't kitties. I have bad breathing when there's kitties around. Thanks! Oh no, it's gonna be emotions time. Prepare, everybody. Look, it's Luna, Artemis, and Diana! Oh, I'm the dog! I'm a dog! Aren't you hungry? <laughs> Looney and Yuki. Well, okay. I just don't catch a cold. It's getting chilly these days. Yay, okay. I'll try my best. See you later, Yuki. We are playing as the dog right now. It's pretty tough for us strays when the weather starts turning cold. I think it might snow soon. Oh, cheesy. That's adorable. Keep warm, pup. Hey! You can't just go running to the street like that. You're gonna get hit by a car. Store is closed right now. It smells like old newspapers. You can't really smell anything. It smells like plastic bottles. Ma used to like to chew on those things. Oh no! I don't know how to use that. It smells like pizza and coffee. Look inside? Yes. It looks as though this trash can was just emptied. It doesn't smell like food. It doesn't smell like food. Sorry, pup. I can't let you pass. Wait. You're new around here, aren't you? Where's your litter? Where's your ma? I don't know. I just woke up this morning and they were all gone. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. Well, how about this? If you're looking for a pla warm place to sleep, prove to me you're a good pup. Bring me something to eat and I'll let you sleep in the alley back here. The hot water pipes run directly through it, so it's nice and warm. Good company, too. All the nice cats and dogs hang out back there. Cats and dogs hang out together? Of course, this town we strays gotta stick together. Cat, dog, it don't matter. Deep down, we all just want a warm bed, a full tummy, and someone to love us. Relatable! So it's a deal, eh? Bring me some food and you can join us. I'll try my best. There's a mega crocodillo around here. I haven't caught one of those yet. Wow, I'm seen! I have to walk five kilometers before my stallion can grow wings. I am very seen. My brother and I are trying to get our stallions to grow wings. But we have to walk a lot of kilometers before that happens. Want to run in circles with us? Oh my god. I'm so seen by Pokemon Go. Back another straight dog? I thought the kitty city took care of that problem years ago. Oh, Looney, why didn't you come home last night? Everyone told me I shouldn't let you be an outdoor cat because it's too dangerous in the city. But I wanted you to be free. Oh, hello there, doggy. Me? Well, oh, I'm just really worried right now. My cat, Looney, she usually comes home every night, but last night she didn't return. I had to come to work today, but I'm just worried, sick. What if something happened to her? What if she's lost? You probably can't understand what I'm saying. Well, doggy, I'm so sorry, but I can't let you stay inside. My boss has a strict no-dog policy, so it's not safe for you here. Please take care, little one. There's Looney! Ah! Hey, Looney, you're back. Come on in. Hey, 
keep up. Did you find any food? Not yet. Say, who was that cat you just followed into the alley? You mean Looney? Real sweet black cat? Bright yellow eyes? She's actually not a stray. She has a really nice owner and lives in the apartments around here. But she still hangs out with us. That's rare, you know? Most domestics don't want to mess with our kind, but Looney's different. I know I don't have any food for you yet, but it would be alright if I just went into the alley for just a bit. I have a message for Looney. It's about her owner. He okay? He's really worried about her. I guess she didn't come home last night. Hmm. Okay, you seem like an honest pup. I'll let you back there just a bit to talk to Looney. Thank you. Looney's the black cat right up there. Go ahead and deliver your message. I'll wait here for you. Hello, Looney. I am... Well, I just saw your owner. And um, he seemed really worried about you. He said you didn't come home last night. Oh no, I was afraid he'd worry. You see, I don't usually stay away from home for this long, but this was an emergency. My best friend's owner passed away, so he's really sad and needs my company right now. Oh, Looney, I don't want your owner to worry. You've already been such a great help to me during this time. You should go back to him. I'll be fine now. Can you, are you sure? I'm sure. I think I need a nap now anyway. I'll come back every day, just as I always do, because you're my best friend. You're my best friend too, Lumi. Thank you for letting me know about this. Do you think you could take me to my owner? Okay! Oh, I see you made a new friend. Ready to head out? Yeah! Okay, let's go. That's so cute! Doggy, I'm really sorry, but I can't let you... Looney! Looney, is that you? Oh, Looney, I thought something awful had happened to you. Is this Doggy your friend? Thank you for bringing my cat back to me. I'm so relieved she's okay. Come here, I've got something for you. To say thank you, why don't you have some of this fish cake? You received fish cake! Take care, little one. That's so cute. I love... We're just a freaking dog right now. Oh my goodness. A heavenly scent. Is that fish cake? You can have it if you like. You give Toma the fish cake. I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna enjoy it together. Come on, pup. You're one of us now. Aww. Sniff. Tonight we have a very special treat. Courtesy of our new friend Poochie! Poochie died on his way back to his home planet. Is that fish cake? Fish cake! And I must say, champ, you did an amazing job as well. The baker's wife gave me all of their leftovers because I ate a squirrel that was destroying her garden. Bravo! There are enough donuts here to start her own bakery. Cat and dog bakery. That would be the day. Welcome to the first official Tokyo Cat and Dog Bakery. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's eat. Barkery! Where is that dog? The boss said she'd be right by the elementary school. Let me check the orders again. Oh no! There she is! Get her! Oh no, 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 no. Okay, pup, you're coming with us now. No, little Sue! She's awfully calm for a stray, isn't she? Yeah, she's a nice dog. It'd be a shame no one adopt her. Too mangy, such a forlorn look on her face. Kinda reminds you of Hachiko, doesn't she? Oh, Hachiko! <laughs> Alright. Big mangy Akita like Hachiko wouldn't last too long in today's Tokyo. Such a shame. They'll probably put her down in seven days like all the others. Wait! You can't put her down? Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. I know it sounds really sad, but there's just too many stray dogs and not enough homes. No, I mean, you can't put her down because... because... Because she's my dog! She's your dog? Yes! What's her name? Her name... Her name is Poochie. 
Poochie! Poochie, did you sneak outside again? I told you to stay in the yard. I see. And where's Poochie's collar? Oh, um... Well, you see, she keeps taking it off because it's too tight. Mom's been meaning to get her a new one. One that fits, but... She works full-time, so she's really busy. Okay, but please be careful that your fence is dog-proof next time. If the dog gets out, it's very dangerous for people as well as for the dog. I understand, sir. It won't happen again. Keep an eye on her. I will, sir. I promise. Oh, Sue. Phew, that was a close one. I can't believe they were going to put you down. Such a nice and beautiful dog like you. I just couldn't let that happen. Mom and Dad would never let me keep a dog as a pet. But that doesn't mean we can't be friends. Oh, you must be so hungry. I actually have some leftovers from lunch you could have. We should probably go someplace safer. Come on, I know just the place. This is going to be the park. Oh, it's the park. Oh. Okay, Poochie, today I want to show you my favorite place. See this tree? call it the lonely tree. Why do I call it that? Well, it's all by itself. It's too tall to talk to the grass. It doesn't have a whole lot in common with the bushes. There just aren't any other trees here. It needs someone to talk to. Oh, don't worry. The tree isn't lonely when I'm here. And I come here a lot. It's my favorite place! When it's hot, the tree gives me shade. When I'm scared, it lets me hide in its branches. We talk together and just hang out. So, it, it is a tree. It's nice, you know? Anyways, since I walk by here every day after school, do you want this to be our meeting place? I'll save part of my lunch for you, and we can play games together! How does that sound? It's a deal, then. I gotta go home now, but... Here's some food for you. I wasn't that hungry today, so there's a lot left. Hope you enjoy. See you tomorrow, Poochie. Okay, Poochie. Now it's my turn to hide. Close your eyes. Are they closed for reals? Okay, then. Count to ten. Dogs can't count. One, two, three. Four, five. You're never gonna find me! Six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Oh, we gotta find her! Doesn't smell like she's in here. Doesn't smell like she's in here. about in here. Yay! You found me! Now it's your turn to hide. Tell us about your marbles, Sue. <laughs> yeah, Sue. Tell us how you think they're actually little planets. She thinks they're planets. Heck, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to take them out of the jar right now. Why? Will all the little aliens spill out? <laughs> She's such a weirdo. I don't like taking them out at school. No. You don't want to take them out because they're just plain old marbles. They're not just marbles. So she admits it. She thinks her marbles are planets. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> Leave me alone. Come on, Sue. Well, just your planets. Get away from me. Get your scary street dog away from us! Good. Oh, Poochie. Thank you. People don't always like you when you're different. Maybe it's just how it is. Like how cats and dogs don't get along. What's that, Poochie? You used to hang out with cats and they want to start a dog and cat bakery? Wow, that's really cool. 
I needed a place like that. Poochie, today I want to show you where I live. No, Poochie. Sorry, girl. It's just that you can't bark around here. We could get in trouble. Thanks for understanding. Well, this is my home. I really wish I could show you my room, but Dad's home right now. He gets pretty angry if he's napping and someone wakes him up. He came home late last night because he was out playing this grown-up game. You know, the kind of game where you drink grown-up drinks and lose a lot of money. I don't like those games. But don't worry. I still have lots of cool things that I can show you in the yard. Like, see over here? Earlier this year, some morning doves made a nest in the bushes. See how low to the ground it was? I came and checked on them every morning before school. And one day the babies flew away. Oh! Hmm. Where did I put it? Here it is! See how much this rock looks like a duck? What the hell is this? Calm down, dear. I needed to wash your clothes. I, I told you not to move my things! Dad's awake. Come on, Poochie, we gotta go. Follow me. Quick, Poochie, in here. That was close. We can hide in here until things calm down. <laughs> Wanna look at my marble collection? That sounds like a drunk. I don't have the whole jar with me, but I have a few new ones in my pocket. When I have to hide, I like to choose a marble and make a new world. Will you make a new world with me, Poochie? No. No, that's definitely true. Let's see. How about this one? I found this marble at the base of the lonely tree, and it's the color of amber. It made me think the tree was giving me a present. I think this plant has a really big tree in it. The tree is so big that everyone lives there together. Inside the tree, there's a room where flower creatures serve you the most delicious tea ever. And the tea room is upside down so you can walk on the ceiling. Your tea won't even fall out of the cup. Of course you can sit at the table with me and share my food. Want to make up another world? Okay, what will yours be like? A cat and dog bakery planet? That's such a great idea! Poochie. He left. He just took all his things and now he's gone. He didn't even say goodbye. Poochie, do you think he was a bad person? Do you think he left because he didn't care? Was he afraid? Did he not love us anymore? Poochie. I made you something today. It's your very own collar. I use pink ribbon and a bell I got from school. That way everyone will know that you have someone who loves you and wants to take care of you. I'll always be there for you, Poochie. I promise. Yeah, I feel this one. Oh, I don't think this collar is going to be long enough. That's okay. I have more ribbon at home so I can fix it later. Okay, Poochie. I gotta go early today. Gotta help mom with some stuff. But I'll see you tomorrow. Poochie, you're my best friend. Oh no! Oh no, don't do this to me!
Welcome to the Elise Explosion stream, where she cries a lot, always. We can't go yet, Mom. I have to talk to my friend. I know moving is a scary thing, but trust me, Sue, you'll make new friends. I don't want to make new friends. This is my best friend. And she needs me. I just can't leave her. I don't understand why we have to move anyway. Can't I just go to the doctor here? I'm going to send I to stay with your uncle and aunt because it's closer to the kind of medical care you need. Sue, I know it's difficult, but your father's not here anymore. Practically speaking, it's just too expensive for us to live here. And can I bring my friend with me? For the last time, no. Now please, Sue, get in the car. Poochie, I'm so sorry. Aw, oh, heck. No, she's still there. This is like Fry's dog. <sighs> well, where are we? I'm not sure, sweetie. It feels cold and really empty. I know, dear. It's probably best if we keep walking. What's that? What are you doing here? I failed her. Oh! I don't know why I'm still here, boy. After all the bad things I've done, I don't deserve to be still walking these paths. I had a life. I had a vice. Oh no! Maybe I didn't know what I had at the time, and I ran away from my problems in the most cowardly way a man can. They needed me. Sue needed me. So now I spent my days wandering these worlds in hopes that I can find something, anything, to make this pain go away. Did you take care of her while I was away? You took care of each other. She's strong, isn't she? Maybe you can't change the past, but you can still do something for her, Uma. What's that? Let her know that you love her and that you always did. Even when it didn't seem that way. Thank you, boy. Well, I think the time has come for me to cross these worlds. It's been a real pleasure. Goodbye. Wait, Poochie too? so badly. Thank you for understanding, girl. I'll never leave you again. I promise. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Well, 
I'm tied with tissues from Monday. Or Saturday. one left. Hey! You guys are still here? Hi, Danielle. Since you're still here, you should come join us for Star Night tonight. Thank you! Let's Star Night again? Only the biggest celebration of the whole year. It's basically the best, trust me. Okay. We're almost ready, but I think Panky and Cora may be running a bit behind. Might want to visit them and see if they need anything. When it's time for Star Night, talk to the chief and he'll walk over with you. See you soon. <sighs> oh! <laughs> the dogs in the hospital. Hey there. I'm so relieved that my friend is okay. Turns out she'd been waiting for me all this time at the place we used to meet. I'm so glad she's safe. Oh gosh, okay. <sighs> Alright, so I think what I need to do is I'm gonna have to save and end here. Because, yeah, she came back. She came back. But I'm gonna I'm gonna full screen it. Oh man, I am a sobbing puffy mess right now. Might be. Um the next part is a bit longer than the other parts. Okay. So if that's the case, I may not be able to stream on Thursday because I'm an idiot and I forgot that I scheduled my massage for seven o'clock. Who goes live at eight? This bitch. So I might have to hold off until Saturday night for the big finale. But I think that's fair. Um, because wow, this game is just kind of an emotional, emotional everything. So much, the, wow. Um, I'm really glad that I'm playing it, and I'm really glad that I have tissues right by my computer. Because I needed that. But, anyway guys, I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will, I'll let you know if I stream something. Finish the game on Saturday, I don't think you have the time on Saturday. Yeah, probably not, because I do still have work on Friday. Um, I'll let you know if I stream anything on Thursday. If I do, it's probably just going to be, like, bejeweled. But thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you all. You're the best. I will see you one of these days. And until then, give your loved ones a hug when you get a chance. Take care, guys. Good night.